hey YouTube, ID for Can here. My car got update 2.4 and now it's time to check out the individual uh, modules and their software versions. And I made a list and of course I'm putting this online. Check the description for the link Google Sheet. So let's talk about that. And before I'm showing the table with all the different software versions, I want to show you two pictures. First one, I want to celebrate my milestone of 3000 subscribers. I want to thank you all. Without you, it was not possible. So thank you for the 3000. And the second one, this picture right here. And as you can see, the amount of subscribers who are watching this video is rising. So that's good, 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 very good. Keep subscribing here below so we can raise this percentage to 15, 20%. Hopefully soon, later, you know, it's up here below. So, uh, said that, let's talk about the software versions. Here we go. I'm back at home. It's easier with the laptop to show you the table, I would say. Uh, it's my uh, master sheet, ID4 master sheet, which I am keeping track uh, of all the changes I am seeing with the software, but also taking note of possible uh, consumption tests, maturing curve, and uh, you name it. So, let's talk it out. Uh, let me show you a bit more, like this, software versions, not keeping track anymore, my charging curve, which I will just check it again later, uh, today, tomorrow, right here. But this video we are talking about the software, and we are moving, uh, no, this, but this one, go back to the left, because I'm also taking take track, track of all the updates. Uh, 1.0 is here, but I got my car with 2.0. And I'm keeping a track of all the different kind of versions I had uh, in my possession. So we're gonna talk about three point of 2.3, two, which is the OTA 2.3, a factory 2.3, and the dealer upgrade 2.4 of my ID4. So uh, let's start with the first engine. It got to, it got an upgrade. I guess it is something about the. Um, battery consumption, more efficient, etc. The brakes got the update, uh, passenger seats, the, yeah, I do have a memory seat, so it does also need software, but it's pretty the same the whole time. And you will see that on most things uh, in this list, that it's stayed the same for a really long time. Uh, AC got a small update. Don't know why. I guess it's also again about uh, more consumption friendly driving, economically driving, or the logic behind it. Uh, central electronics, adaptive cruise, uh, wheel dampening, which is dining chassis control, stays the same. Airbag software, steering column software, uh, and the gateway got an update, which is important, which is ICAS 1, which is the brain of the uh, all the other parts of the car. We got two brains, ICAS 1 and ICAS 3. ICAS 1 is all the things you can see, uh, which is about the uh, car hardware modules, and ICAS 3 is the things you see, uh, infotainment, touchscreen, and such, and data, of course. Uh, but good to see that the ICAS 1 got updated, important, because in this hardware, the logic can be stored with which hardware can, is free to update in another period and the update, let's say 3.0. Uh, brake boost got update, I guess the logic of it. Uh, steering column is the same, driver's seat, memory seat, same. Lane change assistance, same. Uh, driver's door, steering course, what do I have more? I'm not going to talk about everything, you can see it also yourself. The drive motor got an update, which is the rear wheel drive engine, hmm, got also an update. Uh, what was the first one? The engine. Don't know what kind of engine that is, but I guess the logic, the brain of the drive motor, and this is the, uh, where is it? This one, drive motor, is the brain of the electric motor of it. Yeah. Good to see that it's getting updated, so it can get more efficient later on. We will see. Uh, again, passenger door, the same. And here we are, ICAS 3, multimedia. Uh, got to update to 0912, as we saw on our screen. Uh, trailer control, same software. 
as you know, which gave a problem with updating from 2.0 to 2.1, but they fixed it and it wasn't a problem this time. A rear view camera got an update. Um, it's a bit, I think it's a tiny bit sharper, but the most important thing that is, it's quick. It's really quick and it's not only the, enter, only the rear view camera which is quick. It's more the entertainment, infotainment side, it's really quicker. Uh, it looks, it feels like that uh, connection between the iCast 1 and the iCast 3 is uh, faster and it's not bogging down to get the information of the car. Yeah, do you understand? No? Then I will show you in a video how it feels like, how it looks like and I am actually happy with 2.4, it's faster, like you start your uh, vehicle screen, data screen of consumption and then you want to move your state of charge and it goes instant, instant waiting, instant of instead waiting of 3-4 seconds. It goes like, oh, there's your state of charge. Fast. You should, I will show it in another video. And beside that we have, do we have more updates? Yeah. And actually the most important bit here is the battery let's see battery energy module BMS the battery management system of the car this update is needed because uh, with this update as you can see on uh, the factory ID3 with 2.3 the battery heater logic is within this software and that's great now we have it and now we can uh, go into the winter with uh, less consumption I hope and I believe it's it should be but Give it for five months time and we will see it too as an owner. Uh, driver accident is the same, start system interference. So I guess the startup sequence, software logic, or even the 12 volt battery charger, charging system logic. And we, and we don't really have more beside the, yeah, also antenna, a better connection with, uh, no, the LTEs, 4Gs, radios, that's that, something like that. And the other application stuff is more about the infotainment side. So, uh, like I said, the infotainment feels a bit smoother, quicker, nicer to use. So that's great. And then we are at the last one, last one, light line, which is the ID light at front. And that didn't get the update uh, when you're looking to the uh, factory ID3. Um, but I should fill out the other stuff, which I also have in uh, in the data, but I didn't put it online yet, which I should after this video. So give it a thumbs up, subscribe here below to not miss out my next videos. And then I will see you again in my next video. Later!